called my brother Sean about a year and a half ago and said, I got an idea that it's time. People used to, families used to watch television together. So uh, he went and ran with the idea and came up with a fantastic uh, concept and story. And my brother Patrick and, an, and my brother Sean and my brother Ryan are all working on the show. Sean's the executive producer. Patrick is my co-star with Alexa. And my brother Ryan's our lead set dresser. So it's, it's an amazing thing. It's the best work I've ever done. David Gallagher's a, a legend in his own mind. And he's David Gallagher of the Rockets trying to revive his career at an Indian casino. And the original songs that we've created that were supposed to be hits, like Spinal Tap, um, are, are very much like the genre of the really lame 80s videos in the beginning when MTV and VH1. You, those videos, if you go back on YouTube and see the early uh, Hall and & Oates and the cars and oh, big yeah. hair, big eye makeup, big shoulder pads, uh, silver uh, electric boots, you know, we, we, we run with it. Because there's so much music involved, you know, every week you can look forward to hearing a new song from either Ruby or a new song from the Rockets, which are usually really catchy, awesome 80s tunes. Yeah, um, and, and, and videos. Yeah, and music videos where they have these big shoulder pads, the big <laughs> hair, the makeup, the platform boots. It's, it's ridiculous and insane, but totally awesome. We sing live in front of an audience. We don't lip sync. So when we right. mess up, everybody gets to see it and that's on the show. But, and we um, keep it. Yeah, and, and they keep it because they want the characters to be relatable. But, um, you know, <clears throat> I, I never realized how much I loved singing. And it's something that I'm not quite confident fully in. I mean, I'm still learning and there are a lot of, there's a lot of growing that I still need to do. But I'm really enjoying it. And this is something that I hope that I will get the opportunity to continue and pursue. The first, the first time we ever did it, it was definitely a little bit nerve-wracking. But the more and more we do it, it, it just becomes, you start to find your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. and, and definitely the people around you help make you feel just like this is a normal thing. You're just singing in front of a large crowd of people, and but it's okay. Of people. Right. It, <laughs> but, it's um, a great thing, though. I, you know, she's got the goods. She's got a tremendous instrument as a singer, and she's got a great ear and learns it like that. And, you know, if you tell me that you're not 100% confident, you had me fooled. Most of us, there is no such thing as a normal family. No. But the idea that we could get together and bicker and fight and find, you know, mess with each other. And we were flawed, as every family is, but there was a, there was a heart and a spirit about it that we loved each other underneath all of it. And we got to travel together in the bus and, and play music all over. We've never worked together before. This is something that we've all been wanting to do. Sean and I did one Broadway show together in the mid 90s. And it was the best experience. It was Blood Brothers on Broadway. And the best experience I've ever had as a life experience, it was tremendously successful. But we have talked about it. And I've always wanted to work with Patrick. He's a great actor. He's a terrific musician and singer. And uh, my brother Ryan's the lead set dresser. And Sean's the executive producer. So we get to play and sing every week. It's so cool. It's a family affair. Yeah, <laughs> it is.